Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer tonight, Thursday, the 15th of December. Uh, we are in the season of Advent, which is why tonight uh, I would like to remind you that we have the carol singing service in Westfield. Uh, hopefully you guys can join us, um, more of you. That would be amazing. Um, it's from 6.30 on the ground floor around the ground piano. I'm sure most of you have been there. Um, so hope to see you there soon. Before that, let's proceed with evening prayer. Okay, oh God, make speed to save us, oh Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Bless the you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and light upon our path, that we may behold that coming among us. Strengthen us, our stumbling weakness, and free our tongue to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. We're reading Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our, our forebears have told us that you did uh, all that you did in their days, in time of old. How with your hand you drove our nations and planted us and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, not did their own arm save them, but your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you are gracious to them. You are the King of my God, and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob. Through you we drove back adversar our adversaries. Through your name we, we throw down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow. I, it was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put the adversaries to shame. We gloried. We gloried in God all day long, and we were praising your name. But now you have rejected us and, and brought us to shame, and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs to our enemies, and our enemies have dis despoiled us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered, and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for pitas and made no profit of their sale. You have made us, uh, you have made us the toad uh, of our neighbor and scorn and the reason of those that are around us. You have made us a uh, payward among the nations, among the peoples, they wag their heads. My confusion is daily before me and shame has covered my face. And the tone of slander and fire at the sight of enemy an avenger. All this has come upon us through, uh, though we have not forgotten you and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor our steps gone out of your way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. We have forgotten the name. We have forgotten the name of our God, our or stretched. Sorry, if we have forgotten the name of God or stretched out our hands to any strange God, will not God search it out? For He knows the secrets of heart. But for Your sake, we are uh, we are killed all day long, and are counted as sheep for slaughter. Rise up, why sleep, O Lord? Awake. And do not reject us forever. Why do you hide for uh, your face and forget our grief and oppression? Our soul is boiled, uh, is boiled down to the dust. Our belly cleaves down to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, and help us and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Rise up, O Lord, to help us. 
be in the darkness of an, uh, unknowing when your love seemed absent. Draw near to us, O God, in Christ forsaken, in Christ risen, our Redeemer and our Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Okay, let's read the reflection on this uh, on this psalm. This psalm is song of corporate lament. Together God's people cry out, wondering why God has left them in such a for forsakenness. It is deeply bewildering to feel abandoned by God, but this is something sometimes our experience as well. But know that the people also affirm they agree that any favor they have received from God has been a gift. Past deliverances. Uh, sorry, past deliverance has been by sheer mercy. Not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm. In verse 3, this is the fundamental message of the Bible. Fallen men and women stand in need of salvation that comes wholly from outside of them. They contribute nothing but their need when God's people stand in need of fresh deliverance. Therefore, this is all they, they can plead. Rise up, come out to help, redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Centuries after this psalm was written, God would show just how far he would go not to forsake his people. In Jesus Christ, God drew near to sinners to assume them in his underlying love if they would only lay down their arms and humble themselves enough to receive To receive it. When you find yourself feeling forsaken, look to Jesus and his great work of atonement, of restoring us to God. Amen. Amen. And this is in the basis of Christmas as well. We remember what Jesus did for us. He was born to do one thing for us. To take away all of our sins. I mean, we are moving on to the Old Testament reading, which is Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 2, verse 3. The word of the Lord that came to Zephaniah, son of Cushi, son of Gedaliah, son of Amariah, son of Hezekiah, Hezekiah, in the days of King Josiah, son of Ammon of Judah. I will utterly sweep away everything from the, the face of the earth, says the Lord. I will sweep away humans and animals. I will sweep away the birds of the air and the fish. Of the sea, I will make the wicked stumble, I will cut off humanity from the face of the earth, says the Lord. I will stretch out my hand against Judah, against Judah and against all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off from this place every remnant of Baal and the name of the uh, idolatrous priests, those who bow down on the roofs of the host of, uh, of the heavens, those who bow down and swear to the Lord, but also swear to a Milcom. Those who have turned their backs from following the Lord, who have not slowed the Lord or, or inquired him, of him. Be silent before the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. The Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has cons uh, consecrated his guests. And on that day, of the Lord's sacrifice, I will punish the officials and the king's sons and all who address themselves in foreign attire. On that, I will uh, I will punish all those who leap over the threshold. Excuse me, who will fill their master's house with violence and fraud. On that day, says the Lord, I cry. Uh, a cry will be heard from the fish gate, a wail from the second court. Water, uh, a loud crash from the hills. The inhabitants of Morta will, um, uh, well, for all the traders have uh, perished. All who wait the silver are cut off. At, the ta at that time, I will search Jerusalem, Jerusalem with lamps, and I will punish the people who rest complacency on their 
breaks those who say in their hearts, The Lord will not do good, nor will he do harm. Their wealth shall be plundered, and their houses laid waste. Through their build, though they build houses, they shall not inhabit them. Though they plant vineyards, they shall not drink wine from them. Wow. The great day of the Lord is near, near the hastening, hastening past. The sound of the day of the Lord is bitter. The warrior cries aloud there that day will be the day of wrath, a day of distress and anguish, a day of ruin and devastation, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of cloud and thick darkness, a day of triumphant blast and battle cry against the forfeited cities and against the lofty battlements. Uh, I bring such distress upon people that they shall walk like uh, the blind because they have sinned against the Lord. Their blood shall be poured out like dust and their flesh like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold will be able to save them. On the day of the Lord, wrath in the fire of his passion, the whole world shall be consumed for a full and terrible end. He will make of all the inhabitants of the earth. Gather together, gather, of shame, shameless nation, before you are driven away like a drifting chaff, before there comes upon you the, the fierce anger of the Lord, before there comes upon you the day of the Lord's wrath. Seek the Lord, O you have humble of the land, if you are humble of the land, who do his commandments, seek righteousness, seek humility, perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the Lord's wrath. Wow. Okay. This is something else. <laughs> Zephaniah. Um, you know, Zephaniah lived during the final decades of the southern kingdom of, of Judah when um, they were like uh, worshipping other gods. They started to worship Worshipping other gods was uh, something that was completely normal and lots of people did that. Um, and it's a prophecy that people and animals will be destroyed and moved away. It, it is quite powerful, isn't it? Nothing will save you, not your gold, not your silver. You build your houses and you put all this work into building your houses, but you never get to live in them. You 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 work you look after your vineyards, but you never even get to enjoy and drink the the fruit of, of them. It is quite it's quite powerful. This this is in you know. The um this is in line with the prophecy of Moses, who warned them that if they don't keep the Sabbath of God, they will be expelled. But the uh, the earth will keep the Sabbath, but they will be expelled. And this happens when. Uh, Assyria and Babylon uh, takes over Israel and, and Judah. This is a good lesson not to provoke the in, invisible forces of uh, evil by disobeying God uh, because that weakens the people of God and they can, uh, cannot uh, withstand their enemies. Uh, Jerusalem before and now also Judah have become complacent. They said God is not going to do nothing. Either way or that way, he's just not going to do nothing. Uh, they bow down to uh, uh, and swear to Jehovah, yes, but also bow down to false gods. So and they're here and there. Uh, the Bible says you cannot serve two gods. You what was it you hate one and love the other or something like that um so you cannot be with god and with other gods that you are serving which could be anything and everything at all uh, the bible said you cannot serve two gods they have turned their backs to god and so he the day of distress and suffering is very near they have been told to see god to seek righteousness, humility, to be humble. And perhaps they have a chance to be covered and protected when this day come. Yeah, 
stay with God, basically. <laughs> Hold on to God and follow God and um, you'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, now we move on to the next reading. Um, Matthew chapter 17 verses 22 to the end. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And on the third day, he will be raised, raised and they will greatly, and they were greatly distressed to hear this. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, Yes, he does. And when he came to Jesus, spoke of it first, asking, "What do you think, Simon? From a, uh, what do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of earth take to or, or, or tribute from their children or from others?" When Peter said, "From others," Jesus said to him, "Then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offense to them, go to the lake and cast a hook." Take the fish, first fish that comes up, and when you open his mouth, you will find a coin. Take that to give it to them, to you, if, uh, for you and me. Amen. Amen. Um, yes, so Jesus is basically saying, this is my father's home. You know, children don't pay taxes for <laughs> to live in their homes. Um, this is my father's home. This is my temple. Do I need to pay taxes for my for my own home, my own temple? Not, of course not. But just because I don't want to give any extra, that he gave them plenty of reasons to to talk against him. Yes, uh, that that's not going to be one of them. For the sake of those people, um, go take the fish, and uh, you will find the coin there. Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? Jesus again. Start, it starts this chapter with Jesus telling them um, what will happen to him, that he will have to go and suffer. And you can see they're still greatly distressed to hear this. They don't seem to be understanding still that he will be able to rise from the dead. From that. They think in material ways, um, more or less still, not, not in the spiritual way. God seems to be doing something so much bigger to their understanding and um, in the same way God seems to do something um, bigger in our lives um, as well but very often we miss we miss that um, because we are busy with with other things that are not <laughs> that um, we don't uh, we don't we kind of fail to spot to read between the lines and see what God is doing sometimes, even if we go through hard times and, and all kinds of different failures, um, that will bring us where we need to be eventually. We learn from every experience and gather valuable lessons from everywhere, everything we go through. God rewards you when you are seeking, even if things seem um, really bad ultimately God will reward his people your faith is a shield and we've talked about this in church <laughs> a lot your faith is a shield it is protection around you around your family your homes community friends God God's presence is a blessing and protection I mean I'm gonna end here bless you I bless you. What a wonderful word. What a wonderful word. Okay. We continue. Um, okay, I'm going to read this. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. Amen. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be, uh, you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. Amen. Indeed, in, in our sheet is our faith. 
And now we're going to proceed uh, with the uh, uh, prayers for our needs and our worst needs. And uh, God, thank you for another day. Thank you for the chance to be alive. Thank you for the chance to, to follow you and and do do your work to the best of our abilities. And we're just simple human beings. We're fallen human beings with our, all of our issues. So lots of times our own minds, characters, our own issues stand on the way of doing that work. Um, and we are daily asking you for guidance and uh, for your Holy Spirit to guide us and help us to follow you, Jesus. Because we, we cannot we cannot do it by by ourselves at all. Um, and um, but we have we have decided to have open mind and thank you for that and, and help us to be having this this open heart and open mind for you, Jesus, and, and just be brave and for for our faith to grow. We need that protection and this this shield around us and our families and uh, we need peace from you um, and power to do your work uh, it's getting increasingly increasingly more difficult uh, in many ways um, so we we are praying for our nation who who is lots of people are really far far away from you god and, and lots of them are, are hurt disappointed uh, in their past and they they blame you <laughs> but God um, help help them help us and help help us to reach them and help them to open their hearts help them to see help them to read between the lines and, and see your goodness and your mercy and righteousness and, and hope for their lives and Yes, every wonderful and every good parent, God, you're the best parent. You want the best for us. You want us to grow, prosper in every single way. You want us to be happy the way we want. No, it's not the way we want. It's much more than us. But all of us, we want for our children to be well and happy. And God, we are we are just copies of you. And you are so much more than this. So we are so lucky to have a, a wonderful and caring father in you jesus and, and thank you god for for your holy spirit and thank you for your sacrifice and we asking you now for we praying for the whole world and then this world that needs uh, that needs your support and your saving and all these um people suffering around the world where there's war it's so many places not just ukraine and russia and uh, um, there's other 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 places where where there's constant war and people are constantly um, chased because of their faith or religion or uh, uh, or, or nationality or, or race or anything like that. Please God, protect and support these people, uh, all these families. Uh, lots of them are battling with terrible weather, terrible conditions. Uh, please, God. Uh, we're asking you for your mercy and your protection. And God, we can see everyone here in the UK is such cold weather at the moment. And uh, many of us are struggling. We are truly struggling with bills, with paying the bills, with heating our homes, with buying food, anything. And it's just, it's just, it seems like it's getting worse and worse. And sometimes it seems like it's, you're stuck in a loop, you're stuck. You're spitting this and all going out. You don't know how to get out. You don't know what to do. It, 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 it seems like hopeless. But no, no, we have that hope in you. And uh, I know that you're God who provides. And you, Jehovah Jireh, you, you're amazing. You care for us. You provide for all of us, God. And you have a way. Um, and I thank you that we have our homes and we have... Uh, ability to put food on our table and, and to buy clothes and to buy warm shoes and we're asking you for your blessing upon us uh, so we can do this for others who don't have this way and means to do this yet uh, at the moment 
uh, it give us give us the meanest good, but also give us generous hearts, open our hearts, and show us where we need to do to give. Show us who needs help. Bring those people to us, and show us how to reach them exactly where what whatever they need. And we know God that you are you are ah oh, you're such a special God. You talk to us in our minds and our hearts, and you know each person's desire and wish and it, it's just so easy to you just talk to us and you tell us we just need to be there to listen so god we pray that we're going to be just open to receive from you and to and to bless others and god we pray for uh, each person who is uh, mourning the loss of of a loved one uh, right now at the moment for uh, anyone who is unwell and still recovering from sickness, uh, Jesus, you know, there's quite a few people recovering from operations. We pray for them. And God, protect us in this icy weather outside. Protect everybody who is going around from falls and from from hurts and from uh, car accidents or anything like that. Protect us. Protect our homes protect our families and children um, from this <laughs> flu, there's everything going around, flu, all kinds of flu and sickness, protect each of us and keep us healthy and keep us safe, Jesus oh God, we love you so much we love you so much, Jesus and now bless our services over the Christmas period and now bring people uh, to us and help us to serve them, because in a way that they will feel closer to you and they will find you you because it's all about you it's not it's not about any of us not it never was about any of us it's about you jesus it's about your kingdom what you have to offer your salvation and your love and your guidance and this is more precious than anything else so help us to serve people to be open-minded and we with open hearts and show us the way to serve, to adapt, to 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 serve people, and now uh, reach people, and uh, God bless our carol service tonight at Westfield. We have um, carol service. Uh, um, bring those that need to be there and here. Bring bring them and help us to bless them and um, bless them through us, Jesus. Um, and be in work, Holy Spirit. We're going to be there and we know that you're going to be there with us. And lastly, but not least, God, we pray for the families uh, of all these people. Um, they were lost crossing uh, France and all these refugees. They were trying to come to this country and um, find safety for their families. And um, they were... They were lost in water. We pray for them and we pray for for end of this, God. We want a safe way for people to, to be able to, to reach countries and uh, apply for help. And we pray for the families of these uh, beautiful children. They were lost so tragically. Well, they were just being children and being happy. And, you know, all of us have done this playing on ice and... Uh, I see water and just thinking nothing will happen, but those four uh, children, we know we know they are they're safe and sound with you, Jesus. We know you're looking after them, um, but for those that are left on earth, it's 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 suffering, it's devastation. So we pray for their families, we pray for their communities, their friends. You give us, give them, give them peace, God. Look after them, their broken hearts. You can put them back together, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. And we say together. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Savior taught us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who 
our sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Bless you, brothers and sisters. Have a good evening. And hopefully I'm going to see you on our carol service tonight uh, in Westfield. Uh, or see you, see you on Sunday. Bye.